My name is Alex Lilly, and you're watching We Found New Music with Grant Owens. At cha 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 cha! <laughs> <laughs> You're tuned into Dash X. I'm Grant Owens. We're joined now in the studio by Alex Lilly. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you just heard the title track off of the full length album, which just dropped, right? I guess we're. I guess you can that. say that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hello. Hello. Hello, mm, Alex. Get my full resonance. Ah, yes. Well, it's afternoon now, so hopefully our voices are you know, ready. Uh huh. It's been a little and, um, bit warmed up. So the album 2% Milk is out now, and we're going to be talking about that. Just a little bit. Good. <laughs> Talking and, about me. And you have a show coming up uh, at the Echo. Yes. And you're going to be... 22nd. 22nd of February. Yeah. Yeah. Excited for that? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I have to find another sax player. Uh-oh. So, well, I'm a little anybody bit, listening... There's you know? a little bit of a crisis right now. <laughs> if anybody can help. An yeah, emergency okay. Emergency sax player is required. I mean, honestly, hit me up on DM. <laughs> I'll connect you. <laughs> I'll connect you with, I'm not, with Alex. I'm not too worried. I know a lot of horn players. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I used to play trombone. Could I sit in? <laughs> Wait, are you bringing trombone in today? <laughs> no, not today. Anyway, um, well, so you're going to be playing with Kohler's. Kohler's? Kohler's. Kohler's, thank Kohler's, you. Kohler's, yeah. Uh, a few dates, yes. and that's going to be one of them. So yeah. look out for that. If you like Alex Lilly, which you should, uh, check check her out. Come up. Now, you've, you've uh, played a lot uh, live. You played with Bird and the Bee, Lord... Rooney, um, and so so I guess now you're doing your solo thing. Have you always kind of done a solo uh, release as well? Yeah, it's always there's. Yes, I can't help but always be writing things and putting things out. But this this was a little bit unexpected. Just just you know the the formality with which we've put it out, which mm -hmm. I really like. I mean, for me, this feels very formal <laughs> <laughs> for myself. Sure, sure. But it's been, it's very fun. It's fun working with a good, good friend, Inara George. Yeah, who's just um, chilling in the studio as well. Yeah, yeah. we're still friends. And did you guys <laughs> um, collaborate and work together on this album? Um, well, uh, sort of. Hello, there's people looking at. Yeah, hey. they'll they'll be shooting your like live it. session. Like oh, that's a good little plug. Um, aquarium. If you're listening, uh, we're gonna have a live session on our website with Alex performing a couple tracks. <laughs> So uh, um, our crew is right here. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I feel like I got um, distracted. It's but, easy to get distracted uh, in this studio. <laughs> Anara did was quite helpful in the mixing, I have to say. She came in and brought her her ears that that hear a lot. That are that lovely. Hear, that hear things. And they are lovely. They are lovely to look at. And they, <laughs> they hear what needs to be heard. She did, so she was very helpful in that in that respect. Yeah. Thanks, Nar Nar. So I, what are you writing about? Um, where are you at in, in your life? And, how, you know, kind of what are you putting on this album? Um, so this album is, um, I guess it's about, um, uh, sorry, I'm <laughs> um, it's, I, 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 you know, the first track is called Confucius says it's about, it, it's a sort of a love letter to my therapist, I guess. Um, and it's, um, about, you know, not, I guess not trying too hard, letting, letting things happen. It's, I'm sort of misquoting some kind of Zen, some, a Zen philosophy that she gave me. Um, so it's a little bit, I'm kind of making fun of it, but I'm also embracing it at the same time. Um, so that's the opening track. Then the second one, don't worry, I'm not going to lead you through my entire it's record. Fine. Um, but the second track is called 2% Milk. And um, that just deals with, you know, feeling, I guess, a little bit light, but not in a good way. Like the feeling like our lives have become a bit depleted um, due to, you know, cultural shifts and te technology buzzing mm -hmm, in and out mm -hmm. and um you know but it's not it's not all dour i mean it's like a dance song too but it just it, it sort of i don't know i think i think um just talking to to my girlfriends um about you know tinder <laughs> i can't believe i'm already <laughs> seeing tinder uh, five minutes in but um just i think that people aren't are, are kind of taking love for granted and taking and taking life for granted and and so it's a little bit about that all right yeah and now the press photo, uh, there's a bunch of donuts in your hair. Uh -huh. And um, I guess uh, talk about that and what's your favorite donut shop in L.A.? Oh, um, well, I've been I've I've been wanting to put donuts in my hair for for so long now. And I just finally I roped my I missed a flight 
um, coming back from Portland over Christmas break. And my aunt is a very good photographer. And she just took, we had like three hours until my next, my, my, my plane would leave. And okay. so we went to a donut shop. Gosh, I can't remember the name. Sandy. It's on Sandy. Okay. Anyway. Um, so that's my favorite donut shop, but that's not in LA. Um, mm. I don't like the new ones that have like bacon in them and like yeah, getting a little uh, like adventurous matcha here. and stuff. I just just I just want uh, a bad donut. One. Yeah, yeah. Donut. just like a bad good donut. And what inspired this this song? Two percent milk. Oh um, well, um, there's um, a, a poet. Her name is Jacqueline Sus- Suskin, and she writes um, poems on the spot. And I'd given her a prompt: low fat milk. I think it was, and I later changed it to two percent milk. And so. This poem that she wrote inspired um, much of the verse lyrics, and I just kind of cobbled together okay. some other ideas. Cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So you're heading heading on on tour, as we mentioned, twenty uh, second at the Echo. Uh, is there one thing you stock up on that you can't live without when you're on on the road, on tour? I probably should like do more of that kind of stuff. Like I I envy people that like they're like I have to have my this certain facial mask and the sweater. But I think I just kind of like leave like a crazy, pro- I'm like, ah, it's time to go on the road. Yeah. And then I realize like I only have a onesie that yeah. I have to completely take off every time I go to the bathroom in winter. <laughs> and then I have like, I mean, no, nope. <laughs> I usually try you to bring a book, up. which I'm usually too drunk to read before I go to bed. Okay. So there that's, you go. That's what I bring. <laughs> that's tour life, you know, that's Hey, tour. what can you do? <laughs> um, transitioning here to <laughs> speaking of uh let's see here you were on the road with rooney speaking of rooney um today robert schwartzman's movie the unicorn comes out and you have a single on there i do paranoid times so that's cool how did that come about and i guess talk about it okay um i toured a bit with rooney i think three years ago two and a half years ago i was in new york and um which is funny because they're not a new york band but um but I, yeah, I, I guess Robert got in touch with me and, um, I actually don't remember how I know Robert Ah, (laughs) anyway. Uh, sorry, Bobby. Um, but anyway, so I went on tour with them playing keys and singing and, um, and he was very supportive. He came to a a show of mine at El Cid, I think it was. Okay. And, um, he liked that song and I think he'd actually been trying to put it in something else. It, It just seemed like it was kind of knocking around in his head to put it in a movie. So I was very, it's very honored. All right. Honored yeah. Well, yeah, go check it out in yeah. the movie. I'm going to have to go check that out and, and hear it. And uh, I'll be excited when I do. <laughs> uh, well, we're about out of time. Uh, let's see. So again, the show's coming out. I mean, the sh- you're going to be playing a show at the echo, uh, on the 22nd and the full length is out now. Now again, check out a couple of two or three live tracks by Alex Lilly on we found Uh, let's go into another track off of the album. Tell us about pornographic mind. And then we're going to close out the show. Ooh, um, Anara just directed a video for that that came out. Um, um, so you should see it. Absolutely. Um, watch it. Uh, the song pornographic mind. It's about somebody in particular. I'm not going to tell you who <laughs> it's going to be like that. Um, that Larry David, that Kirby Enthusiasm episode where Alanis finally tells him, you know, so maybe maybe I'll I tell love you. Kirby Enthusiasm. Maybe I just I'll can't tell you what it's about. <clears throat> no, it's um. It, wait, what was that? You just can't. No, I love Kirby Enthusiasm. I just I can't think of that episode. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, so it's it's um, you know, I think that it's it can be about a lot of things. That song is about obviously it can be about about workplace. Um, you know, I wouldn't say harassment, but just uh, just like the annoying. Just dealing dealing with men as a woman. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, it was actually a little bit a little bit less serious, a little more playful. I, I didn't mind this person. I just found him a bit exhausting, um, and that's what it's about. And well, it just yeah, just realize you can't. You basically can't help yourself. You pour, well, that's not a good thing to say, right? You can help yourself. Yeah, you, yeah that's fine. But to it's say. but it's okay. It's okay. This 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 particular person I found very charming, but he's got a pornographic mind, <laughs> and sometimes I do too. <laughs> Don't we all? Here we go. Let's uh and on that note, let's let's uh go into it. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Uh come Thanks back anytime. Me. And here it is, Pornographic Mind. We'll catch you guys next time on